Welcome to another quick uh, tutorial, this time uh, in After Effects, uh, talking about how to make a 3D logo animation. Um, so I kind of have this BMW logo in here rotating around, uh, and it's got the depth and everything like that. Um, it's really easy to do, really useful, so let's just jump into it. Um, I've just brought in a BMW logo PNG file, so you can do this with any PNG logo that you want. Um, so let's go ahead and recreate this. I'm going to create a new comp. Um, just call it BMW logo tutorial. And bring in my logo. I'm just going to hit S on the keyboard, scale this down a little bit. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to pre comp this so that we can affect this layer in another comp. And we'll just call this our logo. And then we're going to do it again to kind of send it to another level so that um, we'll see why we do this in a moment. So that way, when we double click on the 3D logo, we still have another pre-comp here. Um, and so the first thing we need to do is make this 3D and let's hit P on the keyboard and then right click so that we can see the uh, separate dimensions here, the X, Y, and Z position. So we're not gonna change anything, but we're gonna use a little bit of I guess it's Python, um, by holding Alt and right clicking, you'll get this little line of code here and all we need to do is just put index. And we're done there. And now the next thing we need to do is just hit Command or um, Windows D. And we're just gonna make a bunch of copies of this. Um, so I'm just doing this. You could also go up and hit Edit Duplicate. Um, so let's just do like, I'm gonna get close to 100 here. And so that's plenty. So what it does is it just basically stacks these all. Um, and in order to see that, you can change your active camera to custom view one. And you can now see that I've basically, every time I'm um, duplicating a bunch of layers, if I turn these off, I'm making my logo have uh, more depth to it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's useful. Uh, the other thing we can do now is now we can jump back into our 3d logo, uh, tutorial file here and we can adjust our position if we've got it also turn to 3d. So the last thing you need to do is come in and there's a little, uh, button here for the comp layer to, um, be able to affect all those other pre-comps that you've, uh, that you've created at the same time. With that highlighted, now we see that we've got the rotation that we want there um, with all of our uh, depth included. Um, so now it's as simple as just keyframing it out. We'll just have a start keyframe, an end keyframe. We'll maybe rotate it like two times. Just a nice slow rotation. And um, We'll just go ahead and select these and make them easy ease. So now that I've easy eased it, let's just go ahead and preview this. And now we've got this rotating 3D logo. Um, one thing you could also do is, as you notice here, the lighting changes. You kind of have this at 90, you kind of have this weird look. Uh, what you can do is, is in this layer, before you make all your duplicates, just add a uh, um, an effect under color correction called uh, levels, and just turn your input black value up quite a bit. So this is what you want to apply to all the layers below your top layer. You don't want it, and then you'll just uncheck it for the top layer. But um, essentially, what you do is you take this and it would be on everything number two through however many you have, right? So that's something that I didn't do initially, but that'll, that'll help uh, ease the side view of, uh, of when it rotates. It'll make it look a lot, a lot more firm on the sides. But uh, this is just a quick way to, to get a uh, 3D rotating logo. Um, you can obviously add things like motion blur to this. Um, you can also change the um, you know, add a new layer in the background if you want this to be on white, 
you know, you can start coming in here and messing with it and animating text. But just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on 3D logo animation in After Effects. I hope this was helpful. Thanks.